Hello quilters and crafters. My name is Mackenzie from the Sewing Palace here in Helena, Montana. This video we are going to embroider this beautiful beautiful embroidery design on some leather. Now this design is built in on the Bernina 790 Pro sewing machine, quilting machine, and embroidery machine. Now this design is absolutely beautiful on leather. This is the example that Bernina has done, but we will be making a sample on this Kimber Bell leather bucket that they have created. Now we're going to do this with a few different colors of isocord thread and the brand new 790 Pro. This is the brand new 790 Pro machine. I have it all hooked up, I have my threads selected, and I'm turning on the machine. The Bernina machines do take close to 10 to maybe 20 seconds to fully turn on with the lights. Uh, once it does, it will prompt me to lower the feed dogs. And then it will also give a little video on how to lower them. So there will be a little button on the right side of the machine that I will push in and make sure it stays in to lower the feed dogs. Next, we are going to find our design, and it is in the butterfly. Folder three, and the first design is our embroidery design. When it first comes in, it comes in as the medium clamp hoop, and we're going to select the maxi hoop, because that's the hoop that we have on, as well as we're going to select the right presser foot that we are going to be using, which is the 26 foot. Next, you will see the thread colors that it likes to have. You could change the color of your design with the color wheel, which that's pretty cool. As well as that button right there, you can change the different spool types. The default is isocord, so it will actually tell you the isocord number and how long that actual stitch will take to stitch out. First, we're going to reduce the size to six inches, and right now when it first comes in, it is eight inches. And I wanna reduce it to make sure it fits into that piece that I have hooped, which is six inch square. So it is reducing, and we're gonna reduce it about 75%. And I'm using my multi-function knobs to reduce the size. Then because we reduce the size, you will want to reduce the density of this stitch. Um, it is telling, what I was pointing to there is it's telling me you want to use the bottom multi-function knob, so I am turning that left to 75%. Now there is a particular ratio that you should do based on how you how much you make it small it depends on how dense you want the design so I'm hitting the X going back to the stitch colors just to see the color wheel once again and that is where you can stain change to different stitch colors and types And then the needle down below, it is telling you, I put the hoop on the machine and it's saying, oh, you did it too early, so now I have to take the hoop off. And then the module slides into place where it wants to be and then it's asking me to put back on the hoop.
Hit the green check and the module will move to the right spot. Now this 790 Pro is compatible with Wi-Fi. And what that means is you can see the progress on a mobile device. So I'm going to the App Store and I am looking up the Bernina app that is for the machines. It is called the Bernina Stitch Out app. So I'm searching that up in the App Store and this is an Apple iPad. So it does work with Apple iPads, Apple iPhones, and Android iPhones at the current moment. So now I have already paired it, but you will want to make sure that the machine, the Wi-Fi is turned on. And once you've turned it on, it will be spooling and looking for a signal of a Wi-Fi. Now it has connected to our classroom staff and you want the machine and the phone or the tablet to be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. So they are both at classroom staff, so that's good. Now back into the app, you can connect the machine to the iPad manually by searching in the IP address and the machine name. So to find the IP in the machine name, you will hit the settings button. The machine, oh, I gotta go back. Not that one, go back one more. And this one. So right here, there's the IP address, and you will type that in, including the periods, as well as the machine name right there. Now, if you have more of, than one of these machines that are compatible with Wi-Fi, you can name them separately. So this one could be like Crystal or Princess or something, and you can name that machine to a particular thing so you can um, make sense of which machine is which machine. So when you are in the stitch out settings, which is that needle, now it is able to connect to that machine. So it is searching for a connection. Might take a few seconds. The first thing that pops up is saying, okay, you can prepare your threads. And um, I have already prepared my threads, so I'm just swiping to the right to clear them. Perfect, you have found all of your threads. Um, are you ready to stitch? And then you hit continue down at the bottom. And this is showing you how long each th thread will take. And then how long the thread that is currently on will take. And the isocord thread number as well as um, the middle one is the different threads. The last one is the design. So you get a nice little preview of what the design looks like on the screen of, the, of your mobile device. So first I'm going to put my thread on the machine using the appropriate spool pin and thread up the machine. This machine is the normal threading path as a seven series, except the needle threader is an automatic needle threader. So I'm gonna thread the take up lever, the check spring behind the guides and then right behind that metal plate, there is threading loops and I will cut the thread and hit the button and it will thread my needle. All right, it is ready to stitch. I did forget to pinpoint place my design. So I wanna make sure that my design is in the middle of my leather So this is two pinpoint placement, but then I've decided I'm just going to do check. So I'm going to put that is absolute check. So I'm just going to click the center of my design and turn on my laser, my needle point laser. So that way I can see where my needle is in the middle of the design and I will use my multifunction knobs to bring the center down to my crosshairs where I've marked the leather. 
And then I'm going to check all four corners just to make sure that it's still on the leather, which it should be. That's good. Hit the X and the needle again. Now because I went out of the needle, I will have to reconnect my mobile device to the machine. I'm just going to pass through the thread colors and go back to the design. And now I'm ready to hit start on the machine. This is my mobile screen. Now I have hit start and it has gone a little bit and you can see the little crosshair on the screen and that is actually telling you where my needle is in that design. And I really, really think that is super, super cool. So it's nice if you were to hit start on your machine while it's embroidering, you know, you see that it um, takes 13 or 15 minutes to stitch this particular color. And I can bring my phone upstairs to do the dishes or go to the laundry room to do laundry or even do something else with cutting fabric out. Um, I can bring my phone over and I can see what happened to the machine and what the progress is of the machine as it's stitching this design. And that way when I come back down to the machine, I already know what to expect when I come back to the machine. Um, it will actually tell you when the machine has broken the thread or if the machine has jammed up in some way. It will say there's an error and it can't move anymore. And then it will tell you, oh, your thread color is done. Come change your thread colors. And it will actually give you a notification on the app from the app that your machine has stopped stitching. Um, since I have the app open, it will just pop up as a little message that my thread color is done or my embroidery design is done or there's something wrong with the machine. So that is super, super cool to see and to have with these new machines. This particular design told me that it would take 58 minutes to complete stitching. And this is a time-lapsed video of me making this design on the leather. And it goes really, really fast um, with the time-lapse. <laughs> Congratulations, my design is done. I'm going to take off the 26 foot and put on the 1D foot and tell the machine that I have the 1D foot on. For the safety of the machine, engaging the dual feed because this is a D foot, which stands for dual feed. Selecting stitch number one. And I have taken off the the project from my hoop. The stabilizer that I used was Stable Stick, so I just ripped it off. It, stable Stick is a tear away stabilizer, so I just tear it off and, and now I'm getting ready to stitch that top piece down. The way that Kimberbell makes these is you stitch it down and then you fold it the opposite way and top stitch around it so that way your embroidery stabilizer and all of those threads and cuttings are hidden and you don't see them. So I'm going to reduce the speed of the machine because I'm going to use the start-stop button actually on the machine and not use my foot pedal. Make sure to secure my stitches with a reverse for three or four stitches. It was still a little bit too fast for me, so I slowed it down a little bit more. And I'm going to top stitch all the way around. As I come all the way around, I'm going to make sure to backstitch again when I get to the where I started. 
to secure that and then I will just hit the cutter button on the machine. And once I have done that, um, it is time to put the little bucket together. So that is super cute. You just um, fold it up and you weave it in the little slits and then you've got a little basket. Make sure that your design is out and the Kimberbell logo is on the bottom. Folding in the two end pieces and tucking in that tail into the bottom one in and then it will go out on the top one and then they give you a little slit in that actual end of the leather as a little handle to hold the bucket. So that is super cute and just straightening it up a little bit. The more the longer that it stays in a bucket the better it will form its shape because this has been in a package and it's so used to being flat so into the bottom one I'm gonna pull it through out the bottom slit I'm gonna stretch out the handle a little bit and there is my bucket super super cute my really cute embroidery it's stitched out very very nicely the top stitch I like that it's a different color um, this is the back so that is why you could change the top stitch color to black so they match but I kind of like the frame look of the pink. Thank you for joining me today on the brand new Bernina 790 Pro machine and embroidering a wonderful beautiful design on a leather Kimber Bell blank uh, and using the Bernina Stitch Out app for the very first time with this machine. It is Wi-Fi compatible. That is crazy. If you liked this video or want to see more videos from the Sewing Palace, please click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And if you liked this video and want to see more, please click the like button. And if you have any questions, you can also leave a comment. We will try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, guys. Bye.